Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing how I made a simple backpack combining the legendary Ankara fabric and something a bit more contemporary. Normally, the second fabric would be used to line jackets, especially bomber style jacket, but I thought it would be exciting to, you know, make it the shell of a backpack. And there is no better time to make backpacks than now because it's back to school season. So if you want to see how I made this bag, keep watching. If this is your first time seeing me, thank you for joining us in this video. My name is Priscilla and I make DIY fashion videos every week on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you get notified every time I have a new video up. So without further ado, let's get this backpack tutorial on the road, shall we? I think we should. <laughs> This is a pattern I will be using thanks to Pinterest. I was able to draft this pattern before filming this video. So if you would like me to draft this in a separate video, please let me know in the comment section down below. As you can see, I have all the panels I need, one for the pocket, one for the base of the bag, the roundish one, which would be for the front and the back, and I would need two, and straps, and so on and so forth. I will be using this Ankara print, which has beautiful blues, yellows, white, blacks, and orange oranges and I just love the color combination. I would also need quilted satin which would be the main fabric for this bag and it has this sort of foamy feel to it which I think is really cool. In addition to this I would I also got myself thin foam which I would be using inside the straps of the bag just to make it comfortable on the shoulders. So next step is to pin down the patterns on the fabric that I want. So this is the main front and back panel. I'm going to cut two pieces for this pattern. And don't forget to mark those notches. It's just going to make your life so much easier when it's time to sew everything up together. So I'm going to cut the rest of the bag in the Ankara print. And I would also cut the lining in the Ankara print as well because I want a situation whereby when you open the bag you just see the surprise of colors that's the idea so these are all the pieces i need two fronts one for the base two side panels two straps a top strap and all of the lining pieces to the side so the first step in the joining process is to sew up the straps and what i've done here is i cut two pieces for a strap and one piece of the thin foam so I'm going to sandwich the foam in between the two pieces of the strap. So when I turn that over, the foam is in the middle of the two pieces of the strap. It's just, there's so much strap going on here. <laughs> so I'm going to sew this along the side and then turn it over and continue the rest of the process. So using the normal stitch, I'm just going to join all three together. And at this point I had flipped it over and the next step is to add a strap extender so you can adjust the length of the strap. So how this is going to work is I'm going to take a measurement that is approximately the same length of the strap, just cut that off and I'm going to push in the narrow end of the strap inside and then pushing the black strap inwards and just stitch that across so it's held in place. Then taking the other end of the back strap and pass it over and under this silver ring then we're going to turn this on to the other side and then pass it under again and what you want to do is secure it in such a way that it doesn't unravel so once you pass that under you are going to stitch it across this point here so it's held secure in place so i just did the same thing for both straps and go ahead with the rest of the process so i know once the straps are done i can focus on the main bag so the last thing i did for the straps was just to stitch it down the middle point to secure the foam in place inside so for the main bag i'm going to join the base to the back panel and while i do that tug the strap in place so once i stitch that line across the two straps are held down and i know i don't have to think about how to fix the straps into the bag so i'm just quickly going to stitch that using a normal stitch so once that is done it's time to join the front panel to the base of the bag i'm just going to sew one cm down here and move on to the next step Obviously, the next thing I need to do is to think about the sides of the bag. 
So this part is a bit tricky and it needs a level of experience to be able to sew around corners like that. So I'm just going to pin it down across and stitch this rectangular shape and it wasn't easy. I had to do it a few times before I got it right but this is what it looks like at this point. I have stitched down the two sides of the bag and it's already looking really good. So the next thing is to think about how to finish up the top which is where the zip is going to sit as well. So so I have cut out these two pieces for the top panel and the zip is going to sit in between them but I've also reinforced them with interlining which will make them a bit more stable on top of the bag. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch down the zip using my good old zip footer so my life is just so much easier. So I'm going to stitch on the two sides of the zip before going ahead to join the top panel which already has the zip into the bag. So as you can see here, the zip is all done and I'm going to pin this into the bag. And it's easier to just, you know, pin down where you want the straps to be. I have already marked this on the pattern and I marked the notches on the main bag fabric. So I just put in the straps in place. I've pinned down the top panel and I'm just going to stitch one continuous rectangular stitch from one end to the other side of the backpack. Again, corners are a bit tricky, so just take your time when you're stitching that down because it's just a weird thing to do just to get that corner looking nice and neat. So once that is all done, the next thing is to work on the lining. I just repeated the same process to create the whole lining piece together. The only difference is I added a patch pocket to the lining. So the next thing is to dress the bag up in the lining. So I've turned the bag inside out and I've just wrapped the lining all the way around it. And I'm going to attach it around the zip of the bag. While I was joining the top panel to the bag earlier on, I created a mini loop which would serve as, you know, that hook that a bag normally would have. And that was the one thing I missed mentioning. But the last step obviously is to join the lining to the main panel of the bag. And this is what it looks like. I just think it's like a really nice surprise when you open up the bag and you just see the anchor lining. And I like how the top panel has that print lining as well as the hook and the straps. So it was a bit challenging to make but it came out really well. This is my go-to work bag right now. and. I hope you guys love the outcome as much as I do. The outcome is quite trendy but still very very functional in my opinion. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any questions, suggestions or ideas, I am really open to all of them because I don't know, I think it's a really fun way to hear what you guys have to say and then make something that you would enjoy watching. So until my next one, have a beautiful morning, afternoon and evening wherever you are and yeah, bye. <laughs> Mwah.